The shredding is an analog solution to a digital problem. The fundamental issue is that modern media is so densely recorded that shredding is not a secure option. Paper hasn't changed in a thousand years. We either burn it or we cut it into tiny little pieces so that you can't recreate it. The problem is that storage media today evolve every two years by order of magnitude or so. Today, about 90% of all storage is on magnetic media. The best guesstimate is that in about 10 years, it'll still be 85% magnetic media. You need to understand how to appropriately destroy it. Basically, what you see is a silver platter. That platter is treated with a substance that will support a magnetic field. And that magnetic field stands perpendicular to the surface of the drive. You cannot see a magnetic field with a naked eye. So to the left, we've taken a platter and we've applied a ferromagnetic fluid to it so that you can see the actual magnetic patterns. So what we're going to do is demonstrate how you can see the magnetic field. What I have here is an ATM or debit card. You see the mag stripe at the top that contains the data. I'm going to take the ferromagnetic fluid, gently stir it up, and then apply it to the stripe. And what you see is that the fluid attaches itself to the elements of the magnetic field. And when I hold this straight up, you can see there's the pattern that actually is the magnetic field, which is the data on that mag stripe. Now we're going to take a closer look. We used a magnetic force microscope, and we're looking at the actual data that is standing on a magnetic platter and see the patterns that make up the magnetic fields that are the data. Below, you see a degaussed drive, and the degaussing process simply removes the magnetic fields. They no longer exist. So that data field that you can now see has a strength, and that strength is called its coercivity, and it is measured in something called Orsted's. Modern hard drives are written at a magnetic strength of approximately 5,000 Orsteds. Modern tape is written at approximately 3,000 Orsteds. So what we do here is when we apply an opposing force, or degauss, the math is that one gauss kills one Orsted. So if we apply more gauss than there are Orsteds, the magnetic field disappears. If you look at the left, you'll see a picture again of the surface of a drive that shows the magnetic patterns. And on the right, you'll see what the drive looks like under an MFM after it's been degaussed. And the magnetic field that was the data simply doesn't exist. Therefore, it cannot be recovered. So the degaussing destroys the data, whereas if you shred a drive, you're only destroying the media. The data is still on the shred fragments, and we'll address that in our next session.